So I pretty much uh, cut everything in pairs. Um, so I was making the side rails for the frame. And uh, prior to welding, we'd prep all the, the joints and uh, grind the angles so that the, the weld could fill in the gap a little better. All right, I started welding up the the side the sides of the framework, and so here's where it's going to fit on the round tube on the bottom. I'm going to use the, the the first one as I go as kind of a template to make sure I get the angles exact here. Using 6013 rod, I don't. This is only eighth inch, so I don't really need a heck of a lot of penetration. Running at 100 amps. I'm gonna tack this up and then weld around. And, um, so I've been grinding off the weld so that when I put the plywood on the face, there won't be anything like making it stick out. So I would kind of want it all flush. Um, so anyway, here we go. I'm gonna. So you might notice I don't actually have a welding table and I'm welding on top of some of the other square tubing that I purchased. It'd be nice to have a welding table, but I guess it's not totally necessary. <laughs> not a great welder but I try to do what I can. Alright, so I got my tacks. I'm gonna finish it up. Yeah. Now with these there's quite a bit of slag on them so again just so that when I mount the plywood I, there's nothing protruding out to make the plywood not sit flush. Alright so next I'm going to weld these on here. I'm going to have to fix that. I kind of just guesstimated at the circle but I'm going to have to re-grind that so I can weld it on there proper. But that will become position one. And then it'll lean out like this, and I'll make it so we can adjust it out so we can have a more aggressive incline to climb against. All right, so we got this temporarily clamped in place. I got a block spacer there in between there. So there's a block spacer, and I have it up higher too. So we're going to try to set the angle for what for welding here. So have another block up higher here. Yep, and it's going to go all the way up to the top. Overall, it's about 12 feet. So take my angle finder here. See how close. that lock it in real good we're gonna take it over and use it to weld with and if it's a little bit off that should be okay because well we could tweak the the piece on top when we weld it that way 
keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. More, 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 more. Stop right there. So this ended up not being the greatest idea. My son was trying to hold the, the angle that we had determined um, while I welded. And uh, so obviously when the weld cools, it kind of pulled together and the angle wasn't perfect. That's so idea. we used uh, clamps this sure. time and held um, the angle. You can see there's a piece of wood connecting um, those the hypotenuse of that triangle, the piece of wood at the bottom holds the angle for us, and I'm using the other two clamps to pull it tight. Um, so this seemed to work a little better in maintaining the, the right angle that we needed, which theoretically should be basically just a 90 degree angle, but it was slightly off, like nothing's perfect. We put the top rail on there. It's pretty straight. It's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna weld all the the cross members in there. Okay, I'm gonna put a brace here in the middle on each segment just so that our plywood is gonna be braced so we won't have too big of spans so it won't flex as much. So we're gonna weld intermediary braces in, in between each. So here it is, um, pretty much all welded up and ground down. Okay, so here I'm showing um, what I made as far as a solution for allowing um, the the whole wall framework to be held upright and then articulate forward and so here we have the deck post here and then here's part of the frame I didn't draw out the whole thing because I was just most interested in detailing this this part right here in particular so basically um, what I'm going to show you is uh, how I plan on uh, this functioning so basically this will flip back and it allow the whole unit to move forward so that it'll have more of an aggressive angle and then when I'm done or if I want an easier climb for my daughter then we can s stick it this way and it'll hold it vertically so that's basically what I'm trying to build is just this little uh, hinged bracket if you will or hinged stop so hopefully that makes sense.